the day that Magic came on first take last Monday, he said, look, Magic and I, I was very shocked. It's not true. Magic and I talk all the time. So let me get this straight. You talked all the time after he left. But when he was there, you couldn't reach him? That don't make any sense. Nobody picks that up. That makes no sense. So you're the president of basketball operations. Rob Palenka works directly under you. He can't reach you then. But when you resign and you've gone on with your life and you are no longer president of basketball operations, now he's talking to you all the time. Somebody lying. Well, some version is false. Well, Let's keep Stephen this A., stuff we heard about who lies. In, uh, among these characters, we, we, the, the reporting has been that Palinka has the reputation of a liar. That's, that's what the reporting has been. So if you're saying someone has lied and, and one guy is notorious for it and the other is not, then you can draw your own conclusions. I personally am not saying that about Rob Palinka because to my knowledge, he's never done that to me. But I will tell you, agents and executives feel that way. Rob Palenka's history goes back to when he represented Carlos Boozer and had a handshake agreement with the Cleveland Cavaliers, told them that Rob Palenka was standing. This is when Carlos Boozer was a monster on a low post as a power forward. They could have won the title with him and LeBron, okay? And Carlos Boozer left to take $25 million more from the Utah Jazz. So he reneged on the agreement. He was obviously persona non grata from that point forward to the point where on tell him they didn't want anything to do with him. He leaves, but he takes Kobe with him. That's great. You know how powerful on tell him is, Max Kellerman, mm -hmm. especially back in the day. Him and David Falk with a creme de la creme for crying out. Bill Duffy can't forget my man that. You know, there was other people as well. But definitely on tell him was one of the power brokers. So to make an enemy out Real of him certainly didn't help. Did question. as recently as when he's been with the Lakers. You got guys like Larry Nance, the, his people. People have gone around saying, look, I went to Rob asking, are you going, I'm trying to buy a house. You're going to trade me? You're going to keep me? And Rob Palenka said, I was told this, Max. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I was told this. Quote, Rob Palenka looked him in the face and said, if the Golden State Warriors called me to trade Kevin Durant for you, I wouldn't move you. Now, we know that's a lie, but nevertheless, they're saying that's what was said, and then the next thing you know, Larry Nance was traded. D'Angelo Russell, his people right. got similar stories as well. So all of these things are associated with Rob Palenka. One true question, or untrue, Stephen A. those stories are out there, and they haven't left Rob Palenka. That's a fact. One question, and we don't have to answer it now, but I would throw it out there. We know that... LeBron James is in business with Rich Paul, right? Yes. When Clutch Sports has someone, there's the presumption that LeBron James is participating somehow, correct? Yeah. I will tell okay. you this. Let me ask I, you this. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do you, go ahead. Is Kobe Bryant, and to what extent are Kobe Bryant and Rob Palinka in business together? Well, let me say this to you. Number one, Kobe Bryant was livid at his name even being mentioned. His attitude is, I'm here coaching my girls. I ain't got nothing to do with any of that nonsense. Rob Palenka's got his own relationship with Jeannie Buss. Of course, he's a guy that I value and that I trust. He represented me for years. I love the yeah. guy, but I've got nothing to do with the Lakers. Y'all tell them people keep, their damn, keep my damn names out of their mouth. That's Kobe. In terms mm -hmm. of Rich Paul, I spoke to Rich Paul this morning. The story, Baxter Holmes, he wrote, obviously did a great job report. Certainly not trying to cast any aspersions on the job that he did because it takes work to do what he did, and Baxter Holmes deserves credit for that. But let me be, clear. Let me be very clear. Rich Paul said, Stephen A., I flew on a team plane once. I was on the East Coast. I was going across the West Coast, they, and, and I was getting ready to go, and they said, you need a ride. And they gave me a ride. And that's the right. only time that I was ever on hold, the Lakers play. Up. Rob Palenka, obviously his relationship with Kobe Bryant facilitates things. But, my God, he's been representing Kobe Bryant for many, many years. Isn't that ample enough time for him? to ingratiate himself with Jeannie Buss and the Lakers organization to a point where he's cultivated his own relationship with them, where Kobe could actually be going, doing his own thing, and Rob Palenka, and it's just tight with Jeannie Buss because that relationship was nurtured over the last several years? I think that's possible. It's like I'm not trying to act like Kobe Bryant. It's impossible or implausible that Kobe Bryant could be involved. But when Kobe Bryant absolutely denies any involvement, I think I'm like, why can't he get the benefit of the doubt? How is it that Rob Palenka could be in a situation where he could not have nurtured himself with Jeannie Buss when Jeannie Buss has known him for over 20 years? It's possible.
That's all I'm trying to say in regards to Rob Palenka. So I, I, I can come to Kobe's defense in that regard. I don't know, but I'm saying it's plausible I that agree. Kobe Bryant at this particular plausible. juncture yeah. doesn't have anything to do with it. I think, said, I think that's plausible, but conjecture about it is fair game in my view. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. I understand that. I, I, I'm just saying this, his argument is plausible. Mm -hmm. Having said all of that, Rob Palenka has been on the job. And what Rob Palenka has to understand, and I've told Rob this, he has to understand this, fair or unfair, jealousy, envy, or anything like that potentially being an element in all of this, which is plausible because he was a damn good agent. The reality is whether it's agents, meaning your former contemporaries, or executives, your present contemporaries, are saying the same incendiary things about you. Rob Palenka is perceived as a pathological liar. They don't trust anything mm -hmm. that comes out of his mouth. This is what they are saying. I think I, I've even said, Jay, Jay, I've even said, damn. I'm talking about the agents. I'm talking about the executives. I've even said, damn, that, that, that's kind of harsh, y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't have to sound like that. Stephen A., you don't know. You don't know, Stephen A. You don't, you'll see. You'll see, Stephen A. I mean, that's what they say. And I'm like, yo, Rob, I, I have, I've been covering the NBA for 25 years. And I'm telling you, I've never, ever, ever had a problem with Rob Palenka personally. He's never done anything wrong to me. I am telling y'all, I have never, ever seen in this business somebody with the reputation that he has. And that is alarming and should be for the Los Angeles Lakers. That's just the fact that Magic Johnson came on national television. I said, you talk about betrayal. Who'd you talk about? I said, well, I'm betrayal. I'm talking about Rob. First, it's first. Did, did, did he stutter, Max? He was sitting right he next to Max. He didn't stutter. Did he stutter? And Stephen A., didn't I was surprised bit, at Jay. the level. Didn't stutter one bit. He was, I think he surprised all of us. It's one Jay, thing to be forthright, but that was next level. Molly was like this. I mean, we can't <laughs> believe it. 